All right, you guys, so let's check out how to create this Garanji splatter text inspired from Design Syndrome. And of course, I'm going to do it with my own methods. So let's take a look. All right, so step one, I'm going to go with this artboard size. And for the font, I went with the Akira Extended. After you arrange it, I'm going to go and right click on the text and select Convert a Smart Object. Now, what I'm going to do is go here and create a new layer. I'm also going to rename this as Splatter. And from here, make sure that the text is white and also the color right here is white. And I'm going to go and select the brush tool. And here I'm going to right click on it. And we're going to need to load some new brushes, which are right here at the moment. So if you want to load in new brushes, all you need to do is go up here to the cog wheel, click on it. And let's go and select import brushes. And I'm going to go and select this brush set. I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can download it for free. And click on load. There you go. So it's going to appear here. And of course, here you can increase or decrease the thumbnail of the brush. For example, I'm going to go with the very first one. Let's go and select it. Make sure that you're on the white. And I'm going to press and hold Alt and press and hold the right button on the mouse and drag it to the left. So this is going to decrease the brush size quite a bit. So now as you can see, you can see the brush right here. And I'm going to click here, for example. And I'm going to click it again because it's still transparent. And again, there you go. So now I can go and swap it from a white to black. In this situation, I recommend you to press the letter X. And I'm going to go here somewhere and I'm going to click on it, click on it again until it's going to be pure black and check this out. Here we got the splatter in action. I'm also going to add another one here and then right click, change up the brush, for example, this one. And I'm going to repeat the same process. Press X to switch up the colors and there it is. All right, so from here, I'm going to drag and drop a texture that basically downloaded from onsplash.com. I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can get it. And I'm going to scale it up and place it something like this. Double click. And I'm going to go to the blend options. And I'm going to select the darker color. And here, all you need to do is just arrange it as best as possible. And I'm also going to press and hold Alt to drag it. I'm going to press Control T, right click, select Flip Horizontal. And I'm going to place it again at the opposite direction. Something like this. I'm also going to go and add a mask on this. And I'm going to select the brush tool. Right click. And I'm going to go and select a generic brush. And here I can remove the unnecessary parts. Actually, I'm going to do the same thing with the second texture. I'm going to add a mask. And remove some of the elements. I also want to make these black and white. Let's go and select the top layer. Let's go back to adjustments. Select black and white. I'm also going to go back to the adjustments and I'm going to select the gradient map. Now make sure it's on top of every each layer and let's go and click on the gradient. And here you can introduce another color. For example, this sharp green. Click OK. And here you can rearrange it. I'm going to select the top layer. Let's go down here and I'm going to go and select the solid color. And I'm going to go here to the B, type in 50. Click OK. And now I'm going to go to the filter, filter gallery, select convert a smart object. And here, all you need to do is go here to the sketch. And let's go and select the reticulation. These are going to be the settings for my artboard size. And click OK. And from here, all you need to do is change up the blend mode. And I'm going to go and select the hard mix. And pretty much that's how I make it. You can add as much splatter as you want and decorate it to the maximum. So pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.